Okay, so today's question on the vision multiple choice is on monopoly pricing. It's designed for year two economic students, students who've been studying the theory of the firm and market structures, and it's about monopoly. So uh, let's take a look at the question and uh, see if you can get it right. The diagram shows a firm in monopoly producing OQ units, output is OQ. Monopoly, of course, faces a downward slope in demand curve, the average revenue curve, with a, with a marginal revenue curve twice the gradient, as shown. Which outcome can be observed in the diagram? Have a go at the question, press that pause button once more, take a few seconds to think about the answer, and when you're ready, I'll come back with the correct answer. So this is a question about monopoly pricing, and we're asked what outcome can be observed in the diagram from the output OQ. And the correct answer to this question is A, loss minimization. Loss minimization. Here's the explanation for it. We know that uh, output OQ is where marginal revenue meets marginal cost. And that, I hopefully you're, you're familiar with, is the profit maximizing output. But this firm cannot make a profit because the demand curve, which is the average revenue curve, always lies below average total cost. So if we plot at output Q, the average cost AC, and the price is P, therefore the firm is making a loss. Average cost is greater than average revenue across the whole range of output, and therefore making supernormal profits isn't possible. But instead of profit maximizing, this is also the condition, MC equals MR, is also the condition for loss minimization. Okay, so the answer is A. Let's just quickly check uh, the other three answers. They can't make a profit, so even satisficing isn't relevant here, so B is not right. Uh, a business maximizes total revenue where marginal revenue is zero, which is shown on the diagram there, will be a higher output than Q. And unit cost minimization, well, that's when the average cost curve the average total cost curve is at a minimum. So the answer to this question is A, you loss minimize when you attempt to maximize profits. Hopefully you got that right. If you did, you've got a good understanding of a key aspect of theory of the firm.